can stop us. You and me sparkle like stardust. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing a whole house clean, and we only had an hour to get this done because I had to be at my brother's to help him finish his dining room. I'll insert a picture of that here. It turned out super cute. I told him it reminded me of, like, Three's Company. It's a retro feel, like Mr. Roper's house. It was so funny, but it did turn out so, so cute, I think. But I am so excited today to tell you guys that today's video is in collaboration with Mandy Flores. And I know if you guys are watching this video, you know who she is. She is like way more into this YouTube thing than I am. She's been on here for a few years. She's got a lot more subscribers than I do. But I love Mandy. I remember the first time I found her channel, she was getting her eyebrows microbladed. So I'd messaged her about that and telling her I don't have eyebrows either and just laughing and things like that. But I just immediately clicked with her. And out of all the people on YouTube, she has been the one that has helped me the most, answered every question I've ever had. She is so sincere, down to earth, plain Jane type person. I get so much motivation from her videos. She has a dog named Bodie and he is adorable. So of course that's Flash's best YouTube friend. I call Mandy. She's actually in my phone as YouTube bestie. I love true crime. So when I seen that she had a serial killer wall, I was immediately sold. We love true crime. She actually has a podcast, so go check that out too. Anyway, but she does all kinds of cleaning. She does some home projects here and there. She is so real and raw and honest about anxiety and dealing with just real things. And she's very chatty. And that's probably why we are besties because we both could talk paint off the wall or talk to a fence post, whatever. Go check her channel out and for sure watch her video. I'll link it below. And if you are coming over from Mandy's channel, my name is Amanda and I am 44 years old. I have four daughters and I just had my first grandbaby. It's a little girl named Lakely and I'm so excited about her. I love her so, so much. And Mandy just had her first granddaughter too. So we're both living our best granny lops over here and I wouldn't have it any other way. But anyway, thank you guys for clicking on my video and if you're from Mandy's channel, thank you so much. And I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around. And if you're here for me, then go check Mandy's channel out.
I said, we only had about an hour before we had to leave to go to my brother's and I needed to get this house cleaned up. I had been doing a project in our kitchen nook area and the rest of the house I had just let go. So there was dog and cat hair everywhere. Flash had spilled dog food all over this rug. It was just nasty. We had dirty clothes over in the pack and play and I was sorting out what was clean, what was dirty. There was some blankets that I knew needed washed and just getting all that straightened up. But Heather and Allison were here with me on this day so they jumped in to help. So I was so grateful for that. I needed to get all of my supplies that I used to make over that kitchen nook. I needed to get all that took back to the garage and our appliances were nasty and I still haven't bought anything to clean this with. I know you guys gave me the best suggestions but I was just using my Zep window cleaner on it. It's pretty much like spray away. It's just got a different smell to it. It smells like spearmint and we were just getting picked up. So we kind of divided and conquered on this day. Heather did her bedroom, her bathroom. I did my bedroom and the living room. Allison did her bedroom and the small bathroom. And then we all jumped in and did the dining room. We did the kitchen. And then we went upstairs and did that. So you'll see a little bit of us everywhere. Some of the quality may not be as good as others in this video. I used my phone some to video me while Heather had the camera and yeah, so we were just all over the place just trying to get it done, but we did, so that's all that matters. I'm just curious, when did you know you had feelings for me? Maybe somehow we've always known that we have chemistry, but always chasing after someone else. This took me by surprise to get this table wiped down. Lexi and Hunter were over the night before and we had KFC and they sat at the table to eat and I was like guys that table is so dirty so they sat at it anyway but I noticed that it had little pieces of cardboard from something on it. I mean it was just nasty so I just needed to get everything wiped down. Plus we have animals so I'm sure those cats are on this table at some point and there is animal hair floating around all over this house. So wanted to get that wiped down and then Heather had the broom and mop out and I went ahead and pulled the shark out and just started doing floors with that too just to get it done twice as fast. There was just no real rhyme or reason to what we were doing. It was really complete chaos. We were just trying to get it done. I was like a mad woman trying to get out the door.
y'all know that I love this shark vacuum mop. It is so handy. It's so convenient. It's just quick. You don't have to sweep then mop. You can just do it all at once. So it is a little quicker, but I will say I think a broom and a mop probably does a better job, especially when I looked at what she had done and what I had done. Hers just looked so much cleaner, but that's okay. At least it's better than it was to begin with. I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket. Run away by myself for a minute. I don't have, I don't have any limits. Ooh, ooh. I'm looking for a place where I can't feel alive. Where I can let you go and just be for a while. I got you on my mind. I'm gonna die. No, I'm a buy. Ooh, ooh. I hope I'll meet somebody who's better than you. They like to find the things that I say. These floors looked so good for about 30 seconds and then, you know, animal paw prints everywhere, but that's okay. That's just part of having animals. So moving on to this laundry room, I cleaned this not long ago and I've been really trying to stay on top of it. Everyone walks through here to come in our house. All my kids have garage door openers, so they all come through there. If I have anybody coming over, like my mom or brother, anybody like that, they just come through the garage and walk through this laundry room. So I do like to keep it cleaned out. And that clip was blurry, but I did want you guys to see that I did spray that washer and dryer down. Even though it was blurry, I'm sorry. I was out of focus, but... I just am really try to stay on top of this and keep it clean. And I have done a better job. Will I say it's perfect? Absolutely not. Nothing around here is ever perfect. It's like fighting a fire to keep anything in this house clean. But I think all moms can relate to that. You know, it's just going to stay dirty. I have grown kids and I'll absolutely clean the mess up to get to see them. Yeah. Moving on to Allison's room, she had cleaned it per Allison standards, which is fine with me. It's her room. She lives in it, and I do make her keep it picked up. I am that mom, though, that will clean my kid's room, so if that bugs you, then I'm probably not the channel for you. I do make them clean it, too. I'm not saying that I don't, but I will go in every now and then and give it a mama's touch, a mama's clean, and if you know what I'm talking about, then you're my kind of person because a kid just don't clean the way you would. And yes, she picks up and cleans, but it's still not exactly the way I would do it, which is fine. I don't want her to ever feel like what she does isn't good enough for me. So a lot of times, like if she's at school or something, maybe I'll go in there if I just am in a cleaner mood and I'll give it a little bit of a mama's touch. But Heather took the camera, so you're going to see that she cleaned the bathroom and then she made her bed and vacuumed her floor while I was doing my room. And then I'll insert the footage of that in just a minute so you guys won't miss that, which there's really nothing to my room. But anyway, I do make my bed and pick up a little bit. And then we'll move along upstairs and we'll vacuum those steps and clean up there. It's just a total disaster up there a lot of times because Kennedy doesn't have a lot of time to clean it. She's not here very long at a time and she does leave a mess. She's a teenager still. So, you know, that's just life around here. Is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be.
So moving on to my room, there's really not a whole lot to it when I go to clean my room because I usually shower in the small bathroom or I'll take a bath in Heather's bathroom. And then I get ready in Heather's room in front of the mirror. And if I voice over, I do that in Heather's room because it's the quietest room in the house. So most of my mess ends up in the living room, the kitchen, her room, whatever. But I was picking up a few things as we were cleaning. If there was something that belonged in my room, she would throw it on my bed. Or if I had something in here that was Allison's, I'd go throw it on her bed. So we were just juggling a lot of things around trying to get it put in its place. So I was just trying to pick up a few things that was thrown in here like my devotionals, my bag, just my camera stuff, you know, all those things. So anyway, just picking up, making the bed, and that's about it. Allison had cleaned this small bathroom, so I'm going to show you guys a clip of that. She didn't have a camera to film herself cleaning it, but I did want to give her all the creds for cleaning that bathroom because she did it and she was proud of it and she did offer. So I was so glad that she jumped in to help us get out of the door on this day. I am fixing to give this bathroom a makeover. I went to Lowe's this morning and Home Depot and Hobby Lobby and Walmart. I went everywhere this morning. Let me just say it like that. I went everywhere this morning to get all the supplies I needed. So I'm fixing to transform this bathroom into something that's just a little cuter. Um, not doing a whole bunch to it, but it is going to be a lot different. It's the only room in the house we haven't put our touch on yet. share devotionals at the end of almost every video and I put them at the end just so you can mute or click off or whatever if you want to. I know that's not everyone's thing but for those of you that like it then here is today's and it is quiet your heart. Psalms 4610. Quiet your heart, quiet your thoughts. Though there might be noise all around you, let your spirit be still and dwell upon who God is. When you choose to be still, you take your focus off yourself and make space for the Lord. In denying your own tendency for busyness or anxiety, you leave room for God to speak to you. He knows that you might be distracted or overwhelmed. He knows that you might have other things on your mind. He also knows that as you turn from those things, He will have the opportunity to meet you where you are and provide true rest. As you exalt in Him, you become less and He becomes greater. As you praise who he is and focus on his character, he will strengthen you from the inside out. Today, instead of dwelling upon what you cannot change, provide margin for God to move in your life. Commit your distractions to him and ask him for guidance. Lord, you are great. Help me sit quietly and focus not on myself, but on who you are. As I praise you, teach me how to rest. As I turn to you, teach me to dwell more on your goodness and less on my stress. You are trustworthy. As I quiet myself to make space for you, you will care for my every need. I have had the busiest weekend. I've been helping my brother get his dining room done. They needed help with some pill and stick wallpaper. So I've been running out there to help them. And then I just finished this kitchen nick area here in my own home. So I had the mess from that. And I just really needed to focus on my house for just a little bit. So I took this hour to just do as much as I could do, get as much as we could get done, done. And it was perfect like I said nothing's ever perfect or completely clean around here it doesn't stay clean long but I wanted to do what we could but today I went and got all the stuff to make over that bathroom 
And then Allison got out of school early for the solar eclipse this afternoon. Her school dismissed at 1230. So I had to rush and then go get her. And it's just been run, run, run for so many days. And I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. And it's just like I haven't had a chance to even breathe. More or less read a devotional or just take time for me and for the Lord. And it feels good just to sit down for a few minutes and read that. So... I'm very thankful that I know I have someone to turn to when I'm stressed out, when I'm busy, when I'm tired, when I need rest. I know who provides all that for me. And I do have so much anxiety. I worried throughout Lexi's whole pregnancy. And now, you know, we have this sweet little newborn grandbaby. And I, of course, worry about her too and worry about Lexi as she recovers from preeclampsia and all that. But it just seems like I've not had a chance to breathe and I just need some rest. I need things to slow down a little bit. And that's my own fault because I go, go, go and push myself. But, you know, sometimes it's good just to be still, to stand still and to know the goodness of the Lord. But thank you guys so much for being here today. If you're here from Mandy's channel, I would love to have you. This is a place for everyone, no matter what. And we'll never judge you. We'll always love you. And if you're here and you don't know who Mandy is, go check her out. You will love her. I love her so much. She is a hoot. She always has me laughing. But thank you guys so much for watching. And we bought the wrong water filter. So I'm going to have to return that to Lowe's and get a new one, the right one. I don't know how we did all that, but I needed to get these stairs vacuumed too and just do a few more things that I had time for. But thank you guys so much for being here. Remember, I love you so much. Jesus loves you so much unconditionally, no matter what. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to go check Mandy's video out. Bye guys. I've been staring at my phone too long Feel my eyes getting tired And the battery is long, long gone Oh no, no There is something you're not telling me But I can't wrap my head around it You said you and I were meant to be Last week You Something more